Hey everyone, it's Joe and Michael from BullionNow, BullionNow.com.au, selling you the best bullion bars and coins shipped to worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. That's a whole bunch <laughs> of kilo bars. We actually, no joke, this is an epic buybacking. We it bought is. this back from one customer. But uh, the reason for the video, we just wanted to highlight maybe a couple of things that your bullion dealer may not be telling you. Yeah, that's right. So, look, from a buyback perspective, every dealer has a line in the sand in regards to the price they're going to pay you for your metal. Yeah. So, bullion now, our line in the sand is, in, the, in most cases, is spot. We will pay you 100% of spot. And as far as we're aware, that's the best deal in the country um, and possibly the world. Uh, most dealers will pay you a percentage below spot for and, it. And quite a large percentage below. It can be, yeah. I don't want to speak on behalf of any particular dealers. Of so, course, yeah, yeah. Um, but our line in the sand is 100% of spot with a little bit of an asterisk next to it. And this is going to highlight the asterisk and what you can possibly do about it. So, as I said, 100% of spot, except for when we're talking about these big chunky bars. So once you go over a certain size, you'll find bullion dealers balk a little bit and they'll say, oh, and in our case, we'd say, we will pay you 97% of spot now, for the kilo bars. Why is that? That is because if the demand isn't there for the kilo bars, we're tying up a lot of capital for an extended period of time. So, so could, yeah. like this, this well over half a million dollars Australian sitting here in this, in this pile of gold. Um, if I have to have that sitting on the shelf for six months, 12 months, trying to move it one bar at a time, mm. I've got a holding cost. That, that money being tied up costs me money. And being the generous person I am, I pass part of that holding cost onto the customer by paying them that little bit less for their gold. But this is what your bullion dealer, or one of the things your bullion dealer may not be telling you. If we have demand for that at the moment, and I have customers that are currently chasing some kilo bars, it means that I can actually offer a slightly higher price than what I would normally offer because I know that within a phone call or two, I can move, and we did do, we moved most of these bars straight on to other customers. Mm. So it meant that the customer that came in to sell us these, instead of getting 97%, we were actually able to offer him 99% of spot price. Wow. And then we could also, the customer that was chasing them, that could buy, that was buying them, because we could flick them almost immediately, we could then say, well, actually, we can do you a better deal. We don't have to charge you our normal retail premium. We can actually squeeze it back a little bit because it's a really quick turnover. Yep. So it's that, it's that demand-driven flexibility in the price that quite often um, bullion dealers won't tell you that if they've got a demand for it, they, they will pay you that little bit more. But just remember, they will have a line in the sand, as I said right at the start. Bullion now will pay 100% of spot when incredibly unlikely to pay any more than that 100% of spot price. Now, where we do pay 100% of spot is the smaller sizes, though. Absolutely. So, And it's one of the... We'll link it above. It's a conversation that we've had before. But you, as we all know, you pay that little bit more for buying the smaller bars, a slightly higher premium, because at the end of the day, the manufacturing cost is almost the same no matter what size bar you're pouring. Yep. But... You pay that little bit more going in, but you'll find if you buy the larger bars, the cheaper bars, you'll get that little bit less coming out at the other side when you sell it back to me. Yep. So yeah. So there's a bit of a trade-off there. Yep. Now, okay. So that's that's the first point which bullion dealers may not be telling you. It's demand driven. Yeah. If they've got price. someone who's going to take it off our hands or their hands straight away, you might be able to get a bit of a better deal. So yep. don't just settle for what they tell you. Um, you know, maybe ask some questions is not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, but here's the, here's the other, other the, good one. The other part, and it plays hand in hand with this one. The, another reason why we were quite happy to give this gentleman a better price on his sellbacks was because he developed a relationship with us. Yeah. He's been buying back with us for quite a while. Um, you know, buying from us. Buying as well. from us. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. So the, the the conversations have been going two way, and the sales have been going both ways. Um, so he's been buying off us and selling back to us for quite a while. Um, we've built a rapport, we've built a relationship, so we were happy to give him that little bit more. So don't underplay that relationship that you're building with your local bullion dealer. It's very, very it, important. So it, it is about price. It's not just about price. Um, price is important, obviously, what you're paying. You don't want to pay over the odds, but it's also about developing that rapport, that relationship. So you get the better prices when you're selling back, but also when things are limited, when things are tight, um, you'll find you'll get the, the preferred deals. You'll get the, the, the heads up that something's coming down the pike. You, you might um, you know, get the phone call as this person did 
that we sold them to. Hey, we've just had these come in. We know you're chasing them. Um, you know, we can let you have them at a slightly better price because, you know, we've picked them up right now and, and we can trade them over quickly. We don't have to hold them. So don't underplay that relationship, that rapport that you're building with your local bullion dealer. Now, obviously we prefer it's with us wherever you are in the world, mm -hmm. but we recognize that some people will go to other dealers. And they should. And they should. Yeah. Compare the prices, absolutely. But don't go purely on price alone. Have a look at that relationship that you're building. Fantastic. Um, you're just full of secrets, <laughs> full of inside knowledge. Yeah, full of something. And you're just giving them away for free. <laughs> That's oh, right. YouTube, yeah. youtube.com slash bullion now, of course. Hit the big red subscribe button to join the family. Bullionnow.com.au. That is what, you know, some bullion dealers may not be telling you. I hope you found it informative. Mm. And, and as, of course, uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's it from me. And from me too. We'll see you soon. See ya.